The judging criteria considers the impact of each project against the four attributes of planet, people, process and profession. These attributes allow the judges to consider projects in the round, regardless of structural typology, scale or use. I believe this has transformed the structural awards, making them more inclusive, fairer and better enabling the judging panel to celebrate all kinds of creative structural engineering. If we are serious about the planet, if we are serious about preserving what we have for the next generation, we have to focus on sustainability. I think it's really important to stop and look at the power of engineering to make a difference in terms of reducing our um, impact on the climate. And it actually takes um, a huge level of um, engineering application and a good foundation of, of competency in order to be able to move forward and do things a little bit differently. We've just won for Nine Mill Bank, uh, an amazing achievement for our company, a massive, massive award. We demonstrated huge amounts for our client. We saved 25,000 tonnes of concrete, which is a, a huge amount of carbon saving concrete that would have been demolished. So a huge savings for the environment, really, really emphasising the need for low carbon repurposing. We are human beings and we have to connect in person, help people, allow them to connect and to enrich each other. It's more than just turning up to work and doing a really great job. It's bringing part of themselves to the projects. We aim to leave exemplary buildings that um, have social benefit. People live in our building, uh, other people enjoy the building, other people are inspired. It's been amazing. I feel like we've been custodians of the building, looking after it. It's an icon on the London skyline to be able to bring it back to life. I think we all felt a little bit emotional when the public went in there for the first time. So to play just a small part in that journey, um, it's fantastic. And it's been an amazing team to be a part of. I think everyone came together to try and make the most of what we had, repurpose as much as we could, and pushing the boundaries of what we can do and doing that in a very sympathetic way. What it offers to people, to society, how it brings together people, we should do more of that. Sometimes the, the simplest thing is the most complicated one. Uh, and it takes someone that understands what structural engineering is to understand how complex something actually is. You have to create a, a unique solution and the reciprocal curiosity. So we were growing each other, so we were learning. They were learning was great opportunity of growth for both of us. The amount of care and diligence that we had to put to get right was, was incredible. It's a lighthouse project, a project that can guide the path to, the, to a better future, a more sustainable future. And I think bio-based materials, timber, is part of that future. And I do think we have to, a story to tell with it, and uh, we're pretty proud to, to win it. We purposely developed a specific floor, especially for this project. So it's a timber, concrete, a DCC hybrid floor, which hadn't been used before. And um, so that's a novelty in the project as well. So I think on process and product ingenuity, we scored a bit of points as well. It's good to celebrate the profession of structural engineering. Um, I think we have a big role to play in the, in the transition that's to come. We have this foundation of technical competence and that desire to apply our skills um, in a way that comes up with something new but purposeful at the same time. And maybe it's innovation, but I think it's that combination of creativity and a lot of hard work and technical application. And that's why I think people feel so proud.